Hi, I'm Amber from Amber's Craft Week Blog, and welcome back to the Hey Day Challenge, where we go through the book Hey Day and do various activities relating to the different pages. Now, for Valentine's Day, the author is suggesting a Valentine's party, and they have a number of crafty ideas to go with it. Rather than doing them all in one long video, I decided we'd split up the different crafts over several days. So the first thing they say to do is to make placemats. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now their recommended method is using butcher paper and cutting out hearts, which is a good idea, but I don't have any butcher paper. So we're going to come up with a different way to make placemats. There are tons of things you could do to make Valentine's Day placemats, but I wanted to go with something that was at least kind of similar to something I would have had the resources to do when I was a kid. So for this project, we will need inexpensive Valentine's Day cards. I picked these up at Dollar Tree for a dollar. Cardstock in an assortment of colors. You could also use construction paper if you have that on hand instead. And in a pinch, you could also just use plain printer paper. School glue. Now double-sided tape is optional because you could just use school glue instead, but I'll be using it so I'm showing it here. Some scissors and a pencil so you can draw shapes and trace them out. I'm actually going to be using my Silhouette Cameo for the cutting part of this, but since most people don't have a die cutting machine on hand, you can just use a pencil and scissors. That will work just as well. Now the last thing, and this is also optional, is if you want to kind of food proof your placemats, you can use a laminating machine, which is what I'm going to be using for mine. But you can also pick up these cover sheets for relatively inexpensive from Staples and slide your mat in here and then just kind of cut off the edge. That will give you a nice covering. It's not completely water resistant or stain resistant because there is an opening at the top that you slide your stuff through. Uh, but if you don't have a laminating machine, then that's an option. They also have cold laminating sheets you can buy again at somewhere like Staples or another office supply store that you just would place, sandwich your placemat between that and seal it up. And it works reasonably well. I like the uh, heat laminators better, but that can work as well. One thing you may have noticed is that there are no zombies in this. Uh, so if you followed my craft blog for a while, you may know that I do zombie Valentine's Day usually. Uh, I decided to do regular Valentine's Day stuff for the Hey Day series so you'd have something different to look at. So it's not like I'm repeating myself. So if you like zombie Valentine's Day, I'll have a bunch of zombie Valentine's crafts over on my craft blog. But if you like uh, cutesy stuff, then I'll have the cutesy stuff on here. And honestly, I also like cutesy stuff, so um, when I walked into Dollar Tree the other day and saw all the pink and red and hearts, I was like, yay, this makes me happy. But I also like zombies, and I love our zombie Valentine's tradition, so I think it's nice to be able to do both. Alright, so now it's time to get to making our placemats. I apologize that the colors are a little bit off. It seems like if I move anything just slightly, the placemat paper kind of got washed out, but this is a nice shiny pink paper. So we're going to use this as the base of our placemat, and then we're going to go ahead and pick out a Valentine card. We're going to do two different placemats, each one based around a different card. So this is the card I'm going to use for this placemat, and you're just going to place it in the center, and then go ahead and tape or glue it down. Alright, so now we have our Valentine taped down to the center of our placemat. Now this particular card has some star decorations, so I decided I was going to go ahead and cut out stars in pink, white, and black, and then decorate the sides of the paper with those stars. So I've already gone ahead and cut them out, uh, and I cut out way more stars than we're going to need because my silhouette cameo, the blade is kind of dull, so I figured I'd go ahead and cut out a bunch so if some got messed up it would be okay. And then from here, we're just going to add some stars around the paper. And uh, once we're satisfied with our arrangement, we're going to go ahead and glue them down. Okay, so I think I'm pretty pleased with this arrangement of stars, so I'm going to go ahead and glue them down off camera. So now we're going to set this placemat aside to dry and move on to our next one. But before we move on, if you don't want to go through the trouble of cutting out a bunch of stars and gluing them on, you could always just draw on stars using maybe a glitter gel pen or something like that. 
So this was the way I chose to do it, but if you want to do this and you don't want to go through that much effort, then you can just make your own stars um, or you can use star confetti. Um, there's a lot of different options. Now our second placemat, we're going to use the same process that we did for the first one. So we have our paper and we picked out a Valentine's card, so we're just going to go ahead and tape it down in the center. Now since this card has heart details instead of star details, I'm just going to go ahead and use the heart stickers that the pack came with to decorate this. Okay, so now we've finished designing our second placemat. All that remains is to laminate the two placemats. Now, since I had all these extra star cutouts, I decided I'd give you a bonus craft and show you how you can make a placemat using those. So I just took some lam a laminating sheet and sandwiched some stars between it. And now once we laminate it, it should be a placemat. This is maybe a bit more of like a New Year's type placemat, but it could also work for Valentine's Day if you have those particular cards that I uh, am using. So now, let's go laminate our three placemats. Alright, so here's how our three placemats came out. So we have uh, the Valentine's one with stars. We have the Valentine's one with hearts. And then we have the uh, all stars uh, placemat. So let me know in the comments which one you think came out best. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd love it if you'd give it a like. If you want to see more videos in the Heyday series, then you may want to subscribe. If you like crafts in general, or if you want to see Zombie Valentine's crafts, you can hop on over to my craft blog, amberscraftweek.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day!